Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. With an African swine fever alert in force throughout Korea, the Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police investigated processed pork product distribution channels and uncovered a number of businesses selling products supplied by smugglers. At this imported food wholesaler, inspectors found smuggled food products in boxes that had bypassed quarantine procedures. This wholesaler has been supplying retailers with food items smuggled by individual travelers. A one-week investigation covering 100 imported food wholesalers revealed more than 150 smuggled food items, including pork products, at 20 of the wholesalers. Some even originated from China, a nation under an import ban for such products. Kyungi Province plans to introduce a reward system for reports of processed meat products that were illegally imported or that feature no standard Korean labels. It will investigate such cases on an ongoing basis. Fortunately, consumers can identify such products easily since they lack Korean labels. On June 17th, a Korean presidential committee hosted a forum on ways in which to reduce income gaps. In his opening address, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung stated that income-led growth is necessary for continuous economic growth. He also emphasized the importance of basic income policies as supplementary vehicles. Organized by the Presidential Special Income-Led Growth Committee, this forum saw the participation of the committee chairperson and scholars, as well as Governor Lee, who was invited to deliver an opening address. Stating that inclusive growth is the road that must be followed to realize continuous growth and that it is also recommended by the World Bank and IMF, Governor Lee strongly advocated basic income policies. In addition, Governor Lee stated that basic income will also motivate people to work, accelerating the economic cycle and reducing social costs. As a basic income source, he suggested the introduction of a land occupation tax. Governor Lee also added that the use of regional currency for basic income payments will also promote a virtuous cycle in the local economy. Kyungi Province, the Kyungi Provincial Office of Education, and Aju University Hospital recently signed an agreement to allow more than 1,800 school grounds and public facility spaces to be used as heliports for the emergency medical helicopters of the province also known as the doctor helicopters. During the signing event, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung declared that the province will bear all responsibilities arising from the operation of these helicopters. Aju University Hospital trauma doctor Lee guk jong said that this movement establishes a new life-saving paradigm. Doctor helicopters, the first service of its kind in Korea to operate around the clock, can now land at more than 2,400 locations in the province, including school grounds, public office grounds, and parks, in addition to the 588 existing heliports for emergency helicopters. 
필요하고 이제 참고할 수 있도록 조치를 좀 하도록 하시죠. 혹시 거기서 생기는 모든 문제는 우리 보호에서 네. 어, 책임을 지도록 하겠습니다. 뭐, 법률상 분쟁이든 배상 문제든 네. 모든 거는 다 보호에서 책임을 질 테니까요. 과감하게 창립장을 네. 확보하도록 하시죠. Possible legal disputes and claims include those pertaining to property damage or trespassing that occur as a result of emergency life-saving operations. This provincial measure will significantly aid the timely provision of medical services to trauma patients. Last year, the doctor helicopter of the Southern Kyunggi Province Trauma Center was mobilized 223 times. That number has been increasing over the last three years. Kyunggi Province recently announced its plan to assign infant play guides to regional infant care centers. These guides will provide parents with advice on how to play with young children and appropriate ways in which to aid their growth. At this infant care center in Sungnam City, parents and their children play with toys they have chosen from among more than 50 varieties. Kim, a mother of twins, chose a vegetable-shaped model that jingles when shaken. The infant play guide helps parents select and use toys so as to draw interest from the children and facilitate their development. In July, Gyeonggi Province plans to assign an infant play guide to each of 27 regional infant care centers. These guides will also circulate among other public indoor play facilities for children under 6 years of age and provide parents with play education. Kyungi Province's announcement includes a plan to expand the Infant Play Guide program to 100 infant care centers, including 22 public indoor play facilities, by the year 2022. This month, Kyungi Province Vice Governor Kim Hee Gyum visited Guri Market to introduce a new traditional market support initiative titled Clean and Warm Traditional Market Support Project and to secure the active participation of merchants. During his visit, Vice Governor Kim experienced consumer prices firsthand while shopping himself and talking with merchants. <laughs> He also met with merchant representatives to discuss ways in which to promote traditional markets. During the meeting, Vice Governor Kim requested the active participation of merchants in the provincial support project. The range of supported items includes hygiene management, customer service education, and marketing, as well as micro dust reduction. Guri Market was selected for the introduction of this new support project. Kyungi Province will implement this traditional market support project at more than 40 selected markets based on the results achieved at Guri Market. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police established and began operation of a digital forensic center for advanced scientific investigations. Digital forensics refers to technologies that enable the recovery of digital data that was destroyed with criminal intent. 
Located within the Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police Office, this digital forensic center is capable of analyzing data stored in digital devices, such as histories of more than 1,000 calls, as well as photo images, video files, and GPS information. It can also recover erased data. 휴대폰 자체를 불에 태운다든지 혹은 바다 속에 던지시는 경우가 의외로 많으세요. 휴대폰 자체를 일일이 다 분해를 해서 이제 메모리만을 따로 적출을 한 다음에 그 메모리를 직접 있는 방식으로 휴대폰의 데이터를 일일이 다 복원을 하고 있고요. The range of digital devices covered also includes hard disks, USBs, mini cams, and CCTV systems. Digital forensics can also trace various pieces of information, such as software installation history and USB connections. Staffed by professionals, this digital forensic center is capable of responding to crimes that involve advanced technologies. 이번 센터 구축을 통해서 어, 디지털 기기의 정보 분석은 물론 각종 어, 법정 증거 자료로 활용하고 함으로써 사건을 보다 신속하게 처리할 수 있게 되었습니다. With this in-house center, the time required for digital forensic analyses will be reduced from two months to two weeks. It can also significantly contribute to investigations of illegal loan sharking and product forgeries. During his visit to the Gumpo City Workers Welfare Center on June 18th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung disclosed his plan to secure the transfer of Central Government Labor Policing Authority to the provincial government. Popular among local residents, this welfare center features a variety of facilities, including a swimming pool, a fitness club, and a library that were constructed more than 10 years ago. The attending local government head, local representatives, and residents asked Governor Lee to support the refurbishment of these aging facilities. <laughs> 지하가 많이 노후가 됐죠. 라카룸 같은 경우는 많이 좁고 또 많이 노화돼서 많이 불편하죠. Affirming provincial support for the refurbishment work, Governor Lee asserted that the social perception of labor must change. He suggested that the name Workers Welfare Center be changed to Labor Welfare Center. 노동전 조사가 정말 중요하잖아요. 근로자라는 말이 참 마음에 안 들어서 요걸 이름을 Governor Lee also noted labor matters being under the authority of the Korean Ministry of Labor. He stated that he will pursue the transfer of such authority to the provincial government. Following his visit to a workers welfare center in Gunpo City, Governor Lee visited a women's center in Wewang City and discussed related current issues with local personnel. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.